Hey guys, welcome back. Today you just need a mat and a couple of weights. I am just using two pound weights. I never usually go beyond that unless we're doing something heavy duty. I like to just do reps with lighter weights to tone and sculpt. So you do what you'd like to do. If you don't have weights, you can use soup cans, water bottles, or you can just omit the weights and pretend. Totally up to you. Um, we're going to start hands and knees. So just make sure all your bits and pieces are comfortable. And we're just going to start with a little stretch. So we're going to inhale, relax the belly, lift the head. Exhale, round the spine, shin to chest. Little cat and cat. Inhale, lower the belly. Exhale, round the spine. And just keep going back and forth with your breath. If you want to deepen the stretch, you can curl your toes under. And then when you round your spine, round back over your toes to stretch them. Inhale, belly down, coming over your wrists if you want to stretch your wrists. So you can move this around a little bit or just keep it in the center and focus on your spine. Just do what feels good. Try to spread the fingers out. Deep breath. Good. We're going to make our way back to the center, curl the toes under, come back to a downward dog and just walk out the feet, stretch those toes. Holding your downward dog, don't worry about your knees being straight or your heels touching the ground, just do what you can do. We're going to reach the right leg up, bend the knee, bring the foot through. Find your weights. One on either side of your front foot. Stack your knee over the ankle, and we're gonna come up. So find your balance, and we're gonna curl. So face your palms in towards each other, hammer curl. It's hammer time. And we're gonna add a little pulse of the legs. Keep breathing. Relax those shoulders. Almost down, last five, four, three, two, one. Hold here, we're gonna hinge forward, turn the palms to face back, pulse them up. Feel a nice long line from your back heel right up to the top of your head. Five, four, three, two, one, lower the weights. Hands on the mat, step back to plank. And we're gonna do single knee taps. We're gonna tap one knee down and then the other. Try not to change your spine. Keep your head up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming onto the belly. Up to cobra. You can be on your hands or your elbows, so do what feels good for your back. Good, coming back to a little child's pose. Give your back a rest. Back to hands and knees. And we're gonna come back to downward dog. Walk it out. Holding downward dog. Lift your left leg up. Bend the knee, bring the foot through. Find those weights. Find your high lunge, we're gonna lift up. It's hammer time again. Start to curl. Nice and tall. Palms facing in. Start to add that pulse of the legs. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're gonna hinge forward. Nice long spine. Turn the weights to face so your palms facing up. We're gonna pulse the arms, push. Keep that length in your back. 
Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower the weights. Step that foot back to plank. Double knee taps this time. Both knees down, both knees up. Keep that long spine, keep your head up. Don't drop it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All the way down, up to Cobra. Big stretch, relax your shoulders. Back to that little old child's pose, take a rest. Coming up to hands and knees, and we're gonna take one weight, put it behind one knee. Take your other weight, put it in the opposite hand. So the weight behind your leg, you're gonna flex that foot, lift the leg up. So just put the weight in your hand, but keep your hand down. Just gonna lift and lower that leg. So you have to give that weight a good squeeze. Don't let it go when you're trying to stamp your heel onto the ceiling. But think about your spine. So when you lift that leg, try not to dip your back. So just hinge right from the hip. Keep that long spine. Good. Now we're gonna hold it up. We're gonna lift the opposite arm with the weight. We're gonna lift the elbow up. We're going to bend and extend the arm while we hold the leg there. So just bend and stretch the arm. Good. Hold that leg up for five, four, three, two. Hold the arm long, turn the palm up. Pulse the arm and leg. Take your time. We're balancing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Remove all of the weights. Bring that leg through that had the weight behind it. Bring it right on through. Just a low lunge. Stack the knee over the ankle. Reach the arms up. And we're going to sweep the arms down and back. Sweep them up. Down and back. Sweep them up. One more time. Down and back. Sweep them up. Lower the opposite hand down. Reach this arm up and twist. Big, big reach. Lower it down. And we're going to step that foot back to our starting position. So now we're going to put a weight behind the other knee. Weight in your opposite hand. So just keeping the hand down for now. Lift and lower the leg with the weight. Flexing the foot will help you to squeeze it. Don't let it go. Watch that spine. Doesn't start to collapse down. Five, four, three, two, hold it up. We're gonna lift the arm up that's holding the weight. Hold the elbow right where it is. Bend and stretch. Don't drop that leg. Keep smiling. Keep breathing. For five, four, three, two, stretch it, hold it, turn your palm up, pulse it all, push, push, arm and leg, push, push, the tush, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, put all of the weights down, get them out of there, leg that had the weight, bring it right on through between the hands, Knee over ankle, reach the arms up, relax those shoulders, sweep the arms down and back, reach them up, spread the fingers, down and back, reach them up, one more time, and up, good, and then put the hands down, this time we're going to curl the back toes, Lift the back knee, step all the way back to downward dog. Walk out the feet. Walk your hands 
to your feet or your feet to your hands, one or the other. Go into the, we want to get to the top of the mat basically. We're going to roll all the way up, just you, not your weights, nice and tall. And we're going to balance. So putting all your weight onto one foot, come onto the other tippy toes, and maybe just maybe that leg comes off the floor. So really pressing down through your standing leg, reaching up through the top of your head. So kind of a lazy tree pose, if you will. So we're just holding the knee up in front. If you feel comfortable here, you can open and close the knee out to the side and to the front. Waking up those core muscles and your leg muscles. Last four. And three. And two. And one. We're gonna step that leg back to a high lunge. Reach up. Relax your shoulders. Go ahead, hands to your hips. We're gonna bend and stretch just the back leg. Take some getting used to, but keep your front leg exactly as it is. Bend and stretch your back legs. You're pressing through that back heel. Push. Isolate that leg. Push. If your low back feels a little scrunchy here, you can hinge it forward, give it some more room. Keep pushing. Last four. Three, a little bit of work. Two, and one. Now we're gonna come down. We're gonna step back to downward dog again. Lock out those feet. Walk your feet to your hands to the top of your mat. Roll yourself up. We're gonna balance on the other side now. So put all the weight onto your other foot. Tippy toes, start with. And then maybe, just maybe, the leg comes up a little higher. Just do what you can do. If you want, again, you can let the leg tip in and out. Maybe hands on hips, or use your arms wherever you need to. Just keep breathing. Breathing is kind of important. Last four, and three, two, last one. We're gonna step that leg back, pull up. Reach the arms up. Start to bend and stretch just your back leg. Push, bend and push, push. You can adjust how far apart your legs are for your lunge. Make it work for you. Last four, three, two, one. Lower down. We're gonna step back to plank this time. Mountain climber, slow mat, we're gonna stroll. We're not gonna run. So we're just gonna bring one knee in and switch. So we're not going fast on purpose. Enjoy it, make it last longer. In and, in and back, knee and back, knee and back. Keep your head up, don't drop your head. We're crying out loud. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more, Cobra Pose. Come all the way down, pushing up, deep breath. And make your way back to Child's Pose. Maybe take your knees wide apart with your toes together. Rest your head down, deep breath. Coming all the way up. And we're gonna sit. So you can sit right on your tushy or you can kneel. Whatever's comfortable for you. We're gonna do a little twist. Big breath in, reach up. Exhale, arms down, look over your shoulder. Try to stay really tall. Inhale, reach up through center. Exhale, other side, keep breathing. Inhale, reach up again, back to center. We're gonna bow forward. Just breathe into your rib cage, deep breath. Coming all the way up. Big breath and reach up. Exhale the arms all the way down. We're gonna do that again. Big breath and reach up. Exhale all the way down. We're gonna do it one more time. 
spread those fingers, reach up, and all the way down. Thanks for joining. I hope you feel a little energized now for the morning or evening before bed, whatever you're doing this, whenever you're doing it, whatever, whatever, whatever. I will see you again. I'm just gonna keep flapping. Bye.